My name is Jerry Reitzik, and I live over in Baltimore, Maryland. And Jerry, what are you doing to grow the hope? To grow the hope, I'm keeping uh, my spirit alive, and all of us in Baltimore are organizing for a big community celebration. It will be on April the 18th, and we're going to bring together all different groups in Baltimore City, um, all the way from the spiritual and faith-based groups to the arts, people who are actors, and all different kinds of uh, different uh, uh, practices. Uh, and we're bringing people from the, uh, uh, the human rights groups and people who are community organizers, people from the high schools and a beautiful group that we have in Baltimore called Peer to Peer, which is an amazing group. It's 20 different groups of young people in Baltimore City, all high school, uh, involved in all different kinds of things. The Algebra Project, Hip Hop Congress, uh, Kids on the Hill, uh, all different, there's 20 different groups. These are all peer-to-peer, -peer, which means that they run the show. What they learn and, and the skills that they gather, they're, they're obligated to pass it on to other peers, people their age, and that help, that's how they build in this great organization. It's very exciting in Baltimore right now. There's a lot of good energy, there's a lot of new energy, a lot of youth energy, and, uh, and for me, it's very, very exciting. Um, so building on that, how um, vital do you believe it is that um, the youth is involved in community organizing? Well, it's absolutely totally organized. It, it's, 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 you know, not only is it important um, and uh, for the obvious reasons that, you know, the people are going to get older, you know, <laughs> and, uh, you know, the society that we create, you know, in, the, in this period of birthing the new society, uh, the, the, the people who are younger are going to have all these extra years to live in it. And, uh, but beyond that, even beyond that, is uh, the great desire of young people to do this work, you know, to create their own world, you know? I mean, it's a very beautiful thing. Do you think that this new sense of energy is due partially to the election, or did you see that this was happening before Obama was a big thing at all? Well, you know, again, you know, I'm 66 years old, <laughs> and so uh, in a certain way, I'm very far away from the youth. But in another way, I'm so turned on by them, you know, by their energy, and uh, so I act as an advisor to a number of different groups. This peer-to-peer -peer group that I was just talking about, um, and uh, so I, I am somewhat in a circle, not completely by any means, but somewhat in a circle. And uh, I think that this energy was there before Obama even announced that he was going to even run for the presidency. But, you know, the fact that he did, and the fact that there was a focal point for a lot of the energy, you know, and a lot of new people came in, you know, I mean, it's a, it's a powerful thing that's going on here. And being here in D.C. today, the day before the inauguration, is amazing. <laughs> Truly amazing. Right, so what are you going to be doing for us today? Today, I'm a part of a wonderful uh, interfaith uh, gathering that's happening here in D.C. this evening. And uh, uh, one of the things that I'll be doing for the interfaith thing is juggling, believe it or not. This is a spiritual practice called juggling. And uh, what it is, is really, is a way to welcome people. So as people come in, it's very important for us to welcome them in, you know, come on, you know. And so this is my way of welcoming people. That's it. <laughs> Thank you.